A step closer to getting Amtrak back in Mobile today. The Board of Zoning Adjustment approved the construction of a temporary station downtown off of Water Street next to Copper Riverside Park. But as WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy explains, Amtrak still has a few more steps to take before construction can begin. All those in favor of the motion say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Thank you for your time today. A special exception zoning request granted for Amtrak. It was a milestone day for Amtrak and the Southern Rail Commission and the City of Mobile. What was approved is a temporary 1,400 square foot platform. Because of limited funding, this will establish the main tracks and allow an opportunity for growth in the future. For the train to serve the station, we need a layover track for the train to park, unload and load passengers on and get off the main line so that um, CSX can continue to run trains through. Where I'm at right now is that parking lot just left of the convention center and that's where these new tracks will be. Nothing compared to trains. Brian Fumore founded Friends of Amtrak, a group of over 600 people in support of the passenger train. It would be great for the quality of life for all Mobilians here as well as downtown Mobile and our economy, tourism, you name it, there's so many positives. But there is still a long way to go before Amtrak can return to the port city, including having the Mobile City Council approve a ground lease and sign the contract for the $3 million the city has already agreed to pay. And CSX is responsible for building the track and still needs to hire a contractor, all of which could push back the original October start of the line date. Not yet ready to put a timeline in place, but soon. Reporting in Mobile, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.